Hi, my name is Lena, and I'm currently on an industrial placement year as part of my chemistry degree. And today, I'm going to tell you what it's really like. I chose to do an industrial placement because I wanted the flexibility of working and doing my masters at the same time, and I've always loved lab work, so doing a year in industry, getting hands-on experience, just made sense. Plus, I wasn't sure if the traditional route straight into a graduate job was right for me, and I wanted to see what the industrial chemistry was really like first. Right now, I'm working with Incares, a seeker company doing synthetic polymer chemistry. We focus on making the intermediates for sealants, bondings and applications in the construction industry such as roofing, flooring and industrial coatings. To apply for a placement, the application process starts with tailoring your CV and cover letters. And trust me, read the job descriptions carefully. Some job roles are more lab based and others are more data and analysis based. So depending on what you enjoy or what you're interested in, it's up to you to apply to these and choose what you prefer. I got a lot of support from the university and my placement supervisor gave great feedback on my CV and cover letters. She even helped to organise an industry academia symposium, which wasn't just useful for finding jobs, but also for building industry contacts. My degree helped me a lot because the lab techniques, data analysis and especially the experimental design modules from my degree were invaluable. Every day I find myself brainstorming and using organic chemistry knowledge in real life and I now see the real world context behind what I learned in my lectures. This placement has built my confidence massively. I've improved my communication, presentation skills and I've been trusted with real lab responsibilities which makes it incredibly rewarding. If you're thinking about doing a placement year, go for it. It's a brilliant way to learn, grow, and figure out what path in chemistry is right for you. Thank you for listening.